If I had to be technical, I would have to start by stating that although it is related to the neocortex, it mostly executes commands from the limbic amygdala and the hypothalamus. And very soon, I'll be having endless discussions regarding the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex's effects. You'll get lost. Nobody will notice. And as I previously stated, it doesn't really matter because we don't need to get into the depths and details here. This means that I may oversimplify some things at times. Still, it's a sacrifice I'm prepared to make for the purpose of argument and better understanding. And my goal is for you to get more out of this. As a result, I shall begin each session with a general lesson on brain structure. We shall discuss it from a general standpoint rather than from the perspective of a parent. What is the structure, what is it used for, and how does it work? Now, the lectures that come after that will discuss about what this kind of brain structure means for our kids and for us as their parents. So, basically, I will tell you the basics of each section. You need to catch up and understand what the different ideas mean. The primitive brain, the oldest portion of our brain, will thus be covered in section 2. From an evolutionary perspective, we will look at several of our reflexes and how they are expressed in our children. Section 3 will cover the Olympic brain, which is still an old part of our brain in terms of evolution. We will look at things like confidence and trust, as well as how our interactions with people shape our children. In Section 4, we will discuss the neolimbic brain. This area is highly interesting since it is the brain center of our emotions and motivations, which ultimately contribute to our personality. We'll get to the neocortex in Section 5. This is mystical, biological, and cutting-edge technology. All of our executive functions are located here. All of our more complex thinking abilities can be found on all four levels. If you want to make a meaningful difference in your child's life and help them develop into their full potential, you need concrete advice on how to connect with them, teach them to control their emotions, communicate with them at their level of understanding, and so on. In the final chapter, we will summarize what we have learned. Stay concentrated.